हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू पीडियाट्रिक्स फॉर डॉक्टर आनंद सो लाइफ एंड आवर रेजिडेंसी आवर पीडियाट्रिक्स होल जर्नी ऑफ पीडियाट्रिक्स इट ऑलवेज टीचेस अस समथिंग बट द क्वेश्चन इज आर वी ईगर टू लर्न आर वी एबल टू लर्न सो यू नो माय एचओडी यूज्ड टू से यू नो बिफोर बीइंग अ बिफोर बीइंग अ डॉक्टर यू शुड बी अ गुड ह्यूमन बीइंग सो ऑल द बेसिक बेसिक हैप्पी हैप्पी थिंग्स यू शुड डू फॉर एग्जांपल इफ यू आर गोइंग टू वॉर्ड यू शुड ऑलवेज स्पेंड टाइम विद द चाइल्ड माय माय सीनियर्स ऑलवेज यूज्ड टू से स्पेंड टाइम विद द चाइल्ड स्पेंड टाइम विद द पेशेंट सो वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सेकंड आल्सो माय सीनियर्स यूज्ड टू से दैट लिसन टू द मदर शी इज टेलिंग यू द डायग्नोसिस लिसन टू द मदर शी इज टेलिंग यू द डायग्नोसिस सो मींस हिस्ट्री टेक्स हिस्ट्री 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 प्लेस अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट रोल सो ऑल दीस स्मॉल स्मॉल थॉट्स एंड ग्लिम्स आई विल बी गिविंग यू स्मॉल स्मॉल आइडियाज आई विल बी गिविंग यू which will be helpful in your whole residency pediatrics program and that's it so please take care watch the video and thank you hello everyone welcome to pediatrics by dr anand this is the neonatology chapter number 3 so what is the topic for today the topic for today is we're going to talk about what the intrauterine growth chart we're going to talk about we're going to talk about what is sga ag and lga very important uh, good questions something known as a small for gestational age appropriate and large for gestational age the depth and detail are there in the upcoming slides we are also going to talk about what are the causes for a large baby or a big baby you know large for the gestational age is lga and two important syndromes connected to that that will be beckwith weidman syndrome and perlman syndrome in all the videos lot of good videos i'll be connecting lot of pictures and images try to focus them as much as possible they are really very important okay and uh, yeah that's it okay so let's start off before starting any segment we always have a code and what is the code for today the code for today is this this is such a beautiful code this fellow he is burning the fire using these sticks but he doesn't know that these sticks actually were important for him to have a step ladder in his life don't burn out opportunities for a temporary comfort okay you know we always say that uh, the good things come out of the comfort zone good things come out of the comfort zone uh, with these videos and these classes of course you will enrich enrich huge amount of knowledge but with the knowledge one thing i am happy you will get is the is my experience of life about things i have discovered over the decade which i'm sharing it with you so one of these things are this only that 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 things which you want they are are uh, they are they are somewhere out of the comfort zone you know so studying is difficult everything is difficult but you have to have the smart approach hard work versus smart work So what is smart work? I will study twenty minutes per day. What is smart work? One video I'll finish in the morning, and one video I'll finish in the night. What is smart work? Whatever I studied, studied in the morning, afternoon I'll teach to my friend post lunch. You'll be having lot of residents, junior residents, senior residents, your batch mates. You know, anyone, DNBs, MDs, diplomas, whatever course you're doing. So you'll be having your friends, colleagues, juniors, and seniors, right? Once you read a video and teach a video, you are the best. You will never forget. That's what I'm trying to say. So now we're gonna talk about is the IUGR intrauterine growth chart. Okay, there is something known as intrauterine growth chart where they ask you these three questions: What is AGA? What is SGA? And what is LGA? Firstly, the full form. AGA is appropriate for gestational age SGA is small for gestational age and LGA is large for gestational age what is the meaning of that if i say term pregnancy what is a term pregnancy 37 to 41 completed weeks yes or no if 37 to 41 completed weeks is a term pregnancy what is the normal weight of a baby are you expecting in this the normal weight of a baby i'm expecting in this is 2.5 to 4 kg can i say that from 37 to 41 completed weeks those weeks if a mother delivers her beautiful baby that baby will be from 2.5 to 4 kg yes or no can i say this line yeah so that means if someone is is getting born at this span of time with this age that baby can i say he is appropriate for the gestational age yes or no so that only i'm saying bro this side is the weight of the baby this side is the age of the baby 
प्री टर्म टर्म पोस्ट टर्म थर्टी सेवन वीकर फोर्टी वीकर फोर्टी टू वीकर दिस साइड इज द एज और जेस्टेशन ऑफ द बेबी एंड हाउ मच के जी द बेबी इज टू पॉइंट फाइव थ्री थ्री पॉइंट फाइव फोर सो वेट फॉर एज दिस इज द इंट्रा यूट्रेन ग्रो चार्ट वेर बेसिकली इफ द वेट फॉर एज इज कमिंग बिटवीन द टेंथ एंड द नाइनटी एथ परसेंटाइल दिस इज नोन एज appropriate for gestational age so if i ask you a very beautiful question how do you define appropriate for gestational age you will say wait for age between the 10th and 90th percentile between the 10th and 90th percentile this is known as appropriate for gestational age same thing if a baby so for example i have a 3 kg baby I have a three kg baby who is a forty weeker. Forty weeker is term range, no? So forty weeker baby, if he is born three kg, can I appreciate this point that the baby is coming in the center dot? Means he is coming between the tenth and ninetieth percentile. Yes or no? So wait for age between the tenth and ninetieth percentile. is known as appropriate for the gestational age okay this okay i have one more delivery one more delivery has happened same 40 week pregnancy this baby is only 1.5 kg so 1.5 if i plot a straight line over here can i appreciate this dot is coming below the 10th percentile yes or no so wait for age less than 10th percentile that is known as small for gestational age and wait for age more than 90th percentile that is known as large for gestational age so this is are the three top class definitions of the aga sglga in the next 70 years of your life if i ask you this question tell me aga sglga Wait for age between tenth and ninetieth percentile is appropriate for gestational age. Wait for age less than ten percentile is small for gestational age, and wait for age more than ninetieth percentile is large, large. For example, I have a four point five kg baby born forty weeker. Oh my God, this baby is coming more than ninetieth percentile. Done, perfect. So if I ask you now, see. lot of theory lot of mcqs lot of theory lot of mcqs and images and videos at the same time that's the whole process of this conceptual pediatrics small for gestational age is defined as what it is defined as wait for age less than 10 percentile i know but what about the standard deviation now very very important please remember that wait for age less than minus 2 standard deviation is nothing but less than 10 percentile so less than minus 2 is something you need to know okay and same another question if i ask you large for gestational age is defined as wait for age yes more than 90th percentile but also it is more than 2 standard deviation so wait for age less than 2 standard deviation is small for gestational age and more than 2 standard deviation is nothing but large for gestational age then and in our nicu we have this uh, chart basically you know for example 40 weeker pregnancy anyone who is less than 2.4 kg will be a sga and more than 4.2 kg will be a lga something like that we have made a made a cut off of the weight so you can take a quick screenshot and you can like not a screenshot will be banned from another mobile so that this is something this is there in my poster in my in our nicu okay i have done my sr shift from lady harding medical college and uh, hindu raw medical college there we used to do this thing neonate 40 weeker very nice question neonate 40 weeker 3.4 kg what will be the neonate referred to as based on the birth weight chart yes so 40 weeker so this is a 40 weeker neonate and 3.4 kg so if i draw a straight line over here and straight line over here the best answer for this question is appropriate for gestational age okay done next question okay full term or small for date babies are at high risk of what the babies who are full term or small for the gestational age they are high risk for what if i say they are high risk for intraventricular hemorrhage see with every mcq it's not just you are solving one mcq you are solving four questions so if the question was that only preterm babies are prone more prone for what 
preterm babies are more prone for intraventricular hemorrhage because naturally they this intraventricular hemorrhage is also known as germinal matrix hemorrhage gmh very nice point again an important uh, uh, you know md exam question so preterm baby has a point has a center in the brain known as germinal matrix the picture of which will be there in another videos also so a uh, preterm baby are having a more are prone for intraventricular hemorrhage because they have a point in the brain known as germinal matrix there the vessels are very fragile so they are very prone for hemorrhage known as germinal matrix hemorrhage so the mcq which is the most commonest site of hemorrhage in a preterm baby the answer is germinal matrix so if the question was preterm babies are at high risk of what then the answer is intraventricular hemorrhage why it is not bronchopulmonary dysplasia it is not bronchopulmonary dysplasia number one in the mcq the baby should be oxygen dependent and should be have a long stay in the nicu if you get an mcq a newborn baby who was uh, having some infection he was treated with antibiotics two to three weeks of hospital stay everything was fine baby is better now everything is okay but the baby still needs nasal prongs or still need oxygen so now that for that basically you you know uh, then the answer becomes bronchopulmonary dysplasia so the best answer for this question is basic hypoglycemia that full term babies are kind of a almost small for date babies they are prone for hypoglycemia what is the cut off for hypoglycemia remember 45 and 54 45 and 54 neonatal hypoglycemia the cut off is sugar less than 45 and severe acute malnutrition have you heard of sam baby which is common in 6 months to 5 years so 6 months to 5 year we have a problem known as severe acute malnutrition there the cut off for the sugar is nothing but sugar less than 54 so sugar less than 54 in sam baby is hypoglycemia cut off in sam and neonatal hypoglycemia is 45 so 45 54 45 54 like that next question in large for date babies all viscera weight more than normal except large for that date big baby bada bachcha heavy baby photo photo this large baby they will have a large liver large spleen spleen large you know kind of a heavy size big skin big fat but what is remains normal the brain size remain normal remember that okay so very simple question in large for date babies all viscera weigh normal except very very importantly the brain heart kidney liver everything is heavy in size number 1 number 2 important macrosomia what is macrosomia we all know that heavy baby big baby so macrosomia is nothing but large size baby is macrosomia what is large head large head is not macrosomia it is macrocephaly which is nothing but head circumference more than two standard deviation sd is nothing but standard deviation so head circumference more than two standard deviation for the age and sex is macrocephaly why it is not large tongue large tongue is known as macroglossia large tongue is known as macroglossia which is seen in one syndrome known as beckwith weidman syndrome in a case of beckwith weidman syndrome you will see something known as macroglossia macrocephaly is nothing but a large head seen in hydrocephalus and all those conditions okay hypothyroidism big mouth is you we all have big mouth so the best answer for this question is uh, option number a large size baby what is microsomia microsomia means small the same only small for gestational age is defined as weight for age or birth weight less than 10th percentile so the question can come in any form in this also we do mistakes that is why i am showing you lot of lot of lot of mcqs okay macrosomia is seen in all except heavy baby or a large baby is seen in all except if the mother is diabetic if the mother is diabetic are you expecting a heavy baby obviously yes if the mother is a multi para then there is common tendency the baby will be heavy if the mother is obese the baby will be obese whereas in a case of hypertension preeclampsia eclampsia you are not expecting a heavy baby you are expecting a preterm delivery actually or you are expecting a intrauterine growth restriction baby iug or baby this is important okay nice question okay next question very beautiful point which says there is no need to rush what is meant for you will always arrive on time so you know just 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 keep all the doors open you know we always say that you know it's written in very good books like you know sare dwar khol do you know all the doors should be open someone wants to come in your life very nice please come welcome 
someone want to leave please go please go right now okay it should be that that chilled out over here okay because if someone has to stay in, in your life he or she will stay you can't do anything if someone has to leave they will always leave so you have nothing to lose in gita in lot of good books it is written when once you understand the whole chakra of life whole circle of life that you have nothing to lose what will is what is yours will find you if you work hard you will get things friends will come and go relationship will come and go what is what is yours will find you okay and you have nothing to lose just keep your hands like that you have nothing to lose okay last point what are the causes of lga baby or a large for gestational age heavy baby more than 90th percentile or something who is more than 4 kg baby will be a little heavy baby so simple we have the mnemonic for that the mnemonic for that is state bank of india extra account state bank of india extra account are the beautiful causes of a large baby s for soto syndrome b for beckwith wideman syndrome soto syndrome b for beckwith wideman syndrome i for infant of diabetic mother infant of diabetic mother e for erythroblastosis fetalis erythroblastosis fetalis erythroblastosis fetalis is that only where the mother is rh negative baby is rh positive and then we have a baby who who is bad or who is expired he is going to have a nsr ka kind of a thing known as erythroblastosis fetalis and c for constitutional causes c for constitutional causes as in constitutional means if the mother is obese the baby is obese <coughs> of you expecting a post term delivery or a post term pregnancy post dated baby or post dated pregnancy the baby will be a good size baby heavy baby pre term pregnancy light baby post term pregnancy heavy baby like that so these are the beautiful causes for large for gestational age babies now the mnemonic is state bank of india extra account soto syndrome b for beckwith wideman syndrome i for infant of diabetic mother e for erythroblastosis fetalis and c for constitutional causes like uh, maternal obesity or you can say post term baby now soto syndrome soto syndrome how does soto syndrome look like photographic memory plays a very important role luckily in all the videos we have lot of syndromes so soto syndrome sotos will have one of the causes for large baby or a big baby heavy baby heavy baby will have a macrocephaly so remember macrocephaly with flushed cheeks and pointed chin macrocephaly flushed cheeks and pointed chin macrocephaly with flushed cheeks and pointed chin This is are the three cardinal important points of the Soto syndrome. I hope you have liked the video. Any query you can ask us any time, and at the same time, enjoy the whole program, enjoy the videos, enjoy your residency, spend time with the patient. As I told you, spend time with the patient, with the mothers, and most importantly, sp spend a lot of time in your pediatric ward. Don't just uh, wait to run to go home or to go to hostel or Diwali is coming or New Year is coming. I have to go back to my hometown. No, uh, resident means except the place. Basically, my HOD used to say the resident. the resident the senior resident or junior resident the meaning of resident is who stays in the premises 24/7 so make sure you are accepting this that place your own place where you're doing your md dcs dnb mr cpch whatever accept the place and start liking it automatically so that's it so please take care and thank you